Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to screen record on any iPhone 12, including the 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, 12 Pro Mini, or the standard iPhone 12. Now the process is really easy and it's pretty much the exact same way to any other iPhone. Now we'll be using our control center method. Now in order to access the control center on your iPhone 12, you want to go ahead and swipe down on the right side of the notch. So right there where you see the Wi-Fi and stuff, you just want to grab it and swipe down just like that. Now you'll see that we don't have a screen recording toggle on our phone. So what we need to do is we need to go into our settings app. We want to scroll down until we get into, you want to scroll down until you get into the control center option, which is right here under general. So you want to go ahead and tap there. Now once you're here, what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down until you see the screen recording toggle, which is right here. Now that is basically what we're going to be using to record our screen. So there's a plus button right next to that little option. You want to go ahead and click on it. You want to swipe up and you want to make sure you see the screen recording option where it says included controls. Now once you do swipe down from the top right corner, you'll see that we now have this new control center little recording thing, which is really cool. So all we need to do now is swipe out of here. Now you want to go to wherever you wanted the screen record. So if you want to screen record a video or something like that, you want to go to that video. In this case, I'll just screen record this main panel. Now what you want to do is swipe down from the top right You'll see this little toggle. You want to go ahead and click on it, and the screen is very sensitive. And you'll go ahead and see that it's starting to record. Now, whatever you do on here, it's pretty much going to go ahead and copy. It's going to record it just like any other video. And once you're done, you can go ahead and tap on this little red little recording thing right here. Go ahead and tap on it, and it'll go ahead and ask you if you want to stop it. And we can go ahead and stop it here. Now, let's say you wanted to go ahead and actually record your audio or not record your audio. You want to long press on that recording option. So just long press it just like that. You'll go ahead and see this microphone on, microphone off section, which is right here. You just want to determine, do you want a microphone off or do you want your microphone off? And just kind of see that. If you want it on, go click here. If you want it off, go click there. So if you want to record again, swipe down there, tap on it. And that's really it. Now all your video recordings will be saved in the Photos app. So what you want to do is tap on the Photos app, click Continue, and you want to go and find the video which is right here. And that's really pretty much the process. At this point you can go and share to whatever you want to if you want to put on TikTok or whatever. You want to go ahead and click on the Share button right here. For some reason I guess it's not working. That's very weird. Oh, that's not all pop-up. You can go and click here, share it off to wherever you want to, airdrop it, save it, whatever you want to. It's already saved. And that's really pretty much the process. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.